Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another electrical video. Here we are in a, I can only describe it as a, I'm going to call it a tin tent. So it's a massive big motor home and it's a Fiat Ducato base. So today, at the moment, we have got a solar controller there and if you see it's got a red light on. Now, unfortunately, the solar controller which was in this cupboard here is set up for two batteries. So I'll just show you the batteries. Okay, so these are the two batteries. Basically, I've replaced this with one big 220 amp AGM because these batteries are unfortunately seen their best. So they're dragging, one of the batteries is dragging the other one down and there's no power. So we've replaced the batteries uh, with one single one. So there you go, there's one 220 amp AGM. I've moved the sergeant unit and the inverter. Uh, and down there is some bus bars, some temporary bus bars, which we're going to replace also. So the two batteries lived here and I've made a massive big stand and all the heating is still functional underneath. That's the battery done. So all we've got to do now, just lower this down, go into the cupboard and here, in there is some, can only be described as Shit, it doesn't really do fuck all. It's supposed to have two batteries in there, but unfortunately we cannot find any information on this to change over the, I don't know if you can see this, we've got a focus, but it's got a charging priority and a little button here that just seems to do FA. So we're gonna swap this out and we're gonna replace it with a Victron unit. Okay, right, so here we have the Victron unit. We're gonna change it for a smart solar and this is the uh, MPPT 130. So it's got all the Bluetooth stuff on it, five year warranty, Victron energy, fit and forget. So let's open it up. Right, so we're gonna open it up. See what's inside. There we go. Bit of blue's finest. One instruction manual. And one charger. So I'm gonna grab some tools and we're gonna to change it over. Right, so since changing the battery over to a single battery, you can see that the the solar panel is banging in the power. It's, the battery is fully charged, but obviously battery number two is not doing anything. And unfortunately, no, what, no matter what you do to these settings, battery two always remains and the error light's on. And unfortunately, we can't find any instructions to prioritize the battery to number one and forget about number two. So we're gonna get rid of this. Well, this is gonna stay to be fair and we'll probably put, um, a, a, a panel over here um, and maybe at a uh, later date put a Victron BMV 712 in see what the customer thinks so back in the cupboard and disconnect the fuses and then what we'll do is we'll uh, get some tools out and take this off right so these are the tools we're going to be using so this screwdriver is for that this will also do the one we're removing. I've got some multi-purpose screws here and I've got some number plate fixes. So what we'll do is we'll put the screws through that and then they will go in to the wood and then we've got some little caps that go over. And then we've got like a cheap park side screwdriver because it's got an extension on it which will go slot into there so we don't scratch the side of this. So I'm gonna try and set the camera up in the uh, in the cupboard and uh, record. Right, we're in the cupboard. I'm gonna try and make this as, uh, as best I possible can. Right, these two wires here are coming from the solar panel. So you need to disconnect the solar panel first. Which is done. And then we're gonna disconnect this one here, which is the battery out so in all intents and purposes it's now dead we can disconnect the control unit which is the, the display 
and then we can take out the solar panel which is the negative here so this is the solar panel wire that's the negative and then positive so that's them done and then we're going to take out the battery side which goes down try and tuck them out of the way and then the positive battery and that's also dead so all we've got to do now is remove this little bad boy One crappy solar controller removed. Okay, this is a new one going in, and there's no reason why it should just slot in where the original one was. So, what we're going to do is hold that there and try to place these screws. So that's going to go there. Cool, this is going to be a bit tricky. And this is all done in real time, so you can see as best as possible how easy it is. So that's nice and secure there. Put the other screws in the other side, which is going to be all done by touch, hopefully. Or what I might do because it is quite... Well, I can get them. He says... You can get them, he says... one to go in so nice and straight get to the top if I can right one solar controller mounted right when we connect them up, we're going to do the battery first. So let's do that. So, that one there's a solar. That one there's a solar. So, make sure these cables are okay. And we're going to put the positive in first. Negative, make sure there's no strands because you don't want them arcing over. Good in the positive, it might be a little, but no, there's nothing there. Okay, so that's the battery connected. So we're going to replace the fuse and 
then actually because it's uh they're fused so we're going to put these in we don't have to put the uh fuse in i'll do that in a minute so that's the negative Okay, just make sure they're okay. Right, so now we can put the fuse into the battery. And then the light should come on. There you go. So the three lights came on. And then all we're going to have to do now is go onto the app. And update the firmware. Okay, so this is the customer's phone. So now we are going to go onto the app store. And we are going to search for the Victron app. So we want to type in Victron. Oh, I can't even really spell Victron now. Victron Connect. So this is the one we want. Customers had Victron stuff before in an older vehicle, so we're just going to download that. And hopefully connected to my Wi-Fi so it shouldn't take too long but saying that it's pretty shit anyway we'll come back to that in a second right so we are now downloaded and we'll open the app and we'll come up to this screen oh what we've we got here wait um, so yeah so you press ok it wants to use Bluetooth so you need to press ok and then it should, in theory, oh, it's got all my stuff. So it's probably this one here, because obviously I've, I've named all mine. So we're gonna go into this one. Right, so I wanna pair it. And now, we are going to have to update it like all Victron stuff. It may need to do this once or twice, but we'll just go ahead and press the update button and we'll let that update. Right, really sorry about my dodgy camera gear. I'm doing my best. So we are all updated. So we're going to press continue. And here we are. So top one. fetching data there you go look. it's going to need another update so let's let it go so we'll let that run it's probably a second update well it is a second update so we'll let that run as well so you can see here the little absorption light and the uh, float light is flashing away just to let you know that it's uh, taking in data so if those lights are flashing you know it's all working right so this is the second firmware update 1.59 so now we're going to press continue Continue. Oh, great. This is what happens when you record live. Okay. What's gone wrong here then? Alright. Okay. Hang on a second. Right. I'll just come out of the 
just left the app then come back into it so now we've got the device so let's log back into the solar controller and the charger is off so we don't want to do that now basically it's just saying change the pin so we'll do that later i'm not going to show you that because you're going to know the customer's pin number so not now so here we have the battery voltage so we're now all up to date so what i'm going to do now uh, what's that oh i didn't see that before so here we go this is something new enable bluetooth live data advertisement on this product and see the most relevant readings immediately on the device so yeah we'll just enable that that sounds quite good right so we're going to go back into here we go look zero wattage from the solar panel but we've got our battery voltage and we're not using any current because everything's off at the moment so let's uh put the fuse in for the panel and see what it does Right, I think that's in. So let's go back to the phone. So there we go, look. We've got 19.68 volts coming in, uh, just under an amp, and now we're on absorption. We are quite cloudy at the moment, and the battery is fully charged, so to be fair, it ain't gonna do much. But now we've got a fully functional Victron Energy MPPT 100 times 30 amp hour solar controller and we're on absorption so it's just going to top the battery up so there you go it's not hard to fit one of these and uh hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one